eat? From her observations of young children, Montessori came up with this term that's very particular to Montessori. This term is the absorbent mind. She realized that the mind of children under six functions quite differently than the mind of a child over six. Under six, the child's mind is capable of taking in the minutest details of life. They do it without any effort. When they're really young, they do it without even being aware they're doing it, certainly under two and a half or three. She called that the unconscious absorbent mind. They absorb everything without any prejudice, without any preconceived ideas. They take on life as it is lived in their group. They take on every tiny aspect of life. But we don't think about other kinds of movement patterns to that tiny degree that children will absorb them. So this power that Montessori so early recognized is, I think, an untapped potential. I think we truly never give it as much credence as we should and recognize everything it's taking in. I think one of the negative aspects, maybe, of the absorbent mind is it also takes in negative aspects of life. And it takes those aspects of life in as the normal way of life. Whatever is taken in in those first six years is to the child the normal way of life. And that sets the foundation that everything else is built on. All the intellectual work that comes, all the cognitive work that comes, all the social work that comes, is scaffolded onto the information taken in by the absorbent mind. So if a child grows up in a, an abusive environment, they see that way of relating to humans as normal. So as an older person, that child's really going to have to work to overcome. They will never erase those patterns but they can compensate for them. They can overcome that as their first response of how to relate to humans. In the same way, if a child is in a, a, a very rich environment, they absorb that as the normal way. Hey, right.